monthly membership, it, it's roughly sixteen ninety five plus shipping and handling, which, depending on where you're at in Michigan, it's going to be uh, somewhere around six or seven dollars. So we're we're figuring out to to make it real simple. We're figuring about two bucks a beer. Okay. Which uh, for for a good handcrafted microbrewed beer out at a bar, it's going to cost you more than that. And this is delivered to your home. And in that, like like I said, we we give you all the perks and the membership cards and also a comment card, so we can we can we want to know what you're thinking. We really we really do. You know, we're just like I said, a few beer drinkers. You know, trying to spread the wealth. I guess. <laughs> you know? Okay, and, and if your mailman looks a little tipsy, you know you won't have your samples in your box. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, better watch out for that mailman. You know. What's 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 your favorite your favorite uh, brew so far? Oh, that's a tough one. I'll tell you. It depends on what day of the week it is. You know? <laughs> I mean, you know, when when I sit down to drink quite a few, I, I like the, the 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 lagers that are a little bit lighter. But you know, I, I still like a full body beer. There's there's no getting around it. Uh -huh. There is a a, a Norwester beer, which is actually a pretty popular beer uh, that we featured a couple months ago. Um, they have a couple. They got a Honey Weeson, which is a kind of a honey wheat beer, and don't let that fool you because it, you know, because of the word honey doesn't doesn't mean it's necessarily real sweet. It, it has a little bit of a honey aftertaste, but mm -hmm. this beer has several ingredients in it, um, and, and you can you can taste them all. It's really a tasty beer. Hmm. Um, and like I said, the Naked Aspen and Thomas Manley that we featured this month um, are are a couple extremely tasty but easy easy drinking beers. Okay. Um, and then in the winter time, when the winter months come along, we're gonna probably be more apt to, to feature a, a, a thicker beer, maybe not so much a, a stout or a porter, but we might. We might stick one in there. Um, and those are a good uh, Christmas beer or winter beer, you know, something that has a, a full body that uh, you're not you're not just sitting back to, to throw down a bunch of beers. You're going to really sit and enjoy um, and relax to, to a good beer, like, like you would, uh, I guess, a nice glass of wine. Okay, okay. Now, um... Uh, I, what, what, what does this, this get for? I mean, I shouldn't say what does it get for you, but what, what, what do the, the beer companies get out of this as far as supplying the, the beers and stuff to you? Do they get any as far as recognition through the magazine yeah, itself? Or? Sure. What we do, we are, uh, like I said, we're only in Michigan, and uh, there are a few reasons for that. One is Michigan, um, the, the Michigan laws, uh, there, there is what you call a three tier system, and what happens there is the beer goes from the brewery to the distributor to the retail store. And we actually have a retail store. And what happens is, the what we we do, we actually have a a, a little division that uh, actually literally calls outside microbreweries, microbreweries outside of the state, to solicit them to get their license with the state and go with one of our distributors, and uh, then we can pick them up. And and we almost tell them that they have a they have kind of a built-in customer base because we. If they bring their beer into the state through a distributor that we use, we will feature their beer that month. So as opposed to advertising for them, they've already ha they already have themselves kind of a built-in customer base. So we, the Great Lakes Beer Society, I, I I like to say that we're responsible for bringing some of the beers into Michigan that we do. Okay. Now, what about some? Uh, you, have you tasted some really bad beers in the? Oh, sure, sure, sure. Uh, I'm not going to name any names, but there there are a couple beers that that we all I I can remember one specifically where we. We all, all four of us took a sip and all made a face and looked at each other and it went down the drain. Yeah. Uh, but that happens. And, and, you know, that's another thing. That's why we want our members' uh, input as well because just because we don't like it doesn't mean uh, somebody, somebody else. Somebody else might not. Okay. Yeah, but, you know, we, I've been drinking beer for a few years. I know, <laughs> I, I know what I like. And, I, you know, if you can drink, I mean, this stuff, this stuff that we tried, I mean, we all made a face, you know. Yeah. That's, it must have been something wrong with it, but sure, there, there's there's your fair share of bad beers, but we we try to keep away from those. <laughs> now I've got I've got Peter Trippin in the in the studio with me too. He's a he's a beer drinker from way back, so maybe we can get him on the in the society too somehow. Oh, oh great! I, ju I, I, I just have barrier. I just have one question: Do you have uh, designated drivers at these little parties? That, you make? <laughs> that that that's a good question, and I will be checking into that right quick. <laughs> now we uh, at the, the the little party that we're. Uh, Post party that we're going to have uh, on Friday, uh, Dunleavy's River Place does supply a shuttle, and uh, we'll be sure to to make sure that the shuttle driver is, is on staff there. But and I'll tell you one thing there, uh, Peter. Yeah. Is that Peter? We uh, we have a, a payphone right there, and we're ready to call a cab for you if you need one. 
Okay, well, I've been known to, to have to crawl a couple of times at these, at these <laughs> tasting things. You crawl, know. crawl, don't drive, though. That's yeah, right. right. Yeah, crawl I don't, safely. I don't, right. Crawl across the street to the house, you know. <laughs> yep. Just, just be careful. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Keep off the streets, because I'm probably going to be on there. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, you, you know, all, all your listeners, I, like I said, I, I'd love to, uh, to get a, a little market going up there in Muskegon, and we're going to, if, if we get a few members up there, we're going to start soliciting some of your fine establishments uh, to, to see if they'll accept our membership card, you know, and okay. and, and try to try to get a whole group up there. We'd, we'd love to, to have you all join. What's what's the number again? The number again, it's a 1-800 number, 1-800-451-GLBS, as in Great Lakes Beer Society. I, I no had, BS. Yeah, I had that memorized already. Good. Yeah. Good. Gibbs. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much. All right, I thank you. I, I really appreciate uh calling me up and and i hope i i sure hope to see oscar osmo here on on our list oh okay yeah okay. well we'll see what we can do for really? you really i'm not much of a beer drinker but uh sounds kind of intriguing well, yes sure. it does G- give it a try maybe we can maybe we can uh show you some some newfangled some... beers that that you haven't tried and you might really uh enjoy maybe hey some, I... maybe some culture yeah they well <laughs> i'll tell you what they have they have the coffee thing per month they have the wine thing per month why not beer there's a lot oh, of beer sure. drinkers oh, you yeah. know oh, you oh, kidding yeah. me? i mean why didn't we think about this a long time ago? Yeah, right. right. That's right. As I say, the uh, Condor Muskegon, if uh, you put a beer tin up, you got people. <laughs> I'll tell you, that, that's right. And, you know, keep in mind, too, though, that we are going to feature uh, other items. If you're a member of the Great Lakes Beer Society, we're going to we're gonna also automatically uh, get you our, our catalog that we have slated for Christmas. It's going to have, like I said, a bunch of beer-related items. We're going to try to get some salsas and some, some mustards and whatnot. We're going to talk go. to some people in Michigan, get some local-based places uh, up and going. Okay. All righty. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And uh, hold on line. We'll, we'll talk a little bit here. Sounds good. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, we're talking with Rob Blodgett. And uh, I tell you what, Rob, tell us the name of your show. It's the HelpNet, H-E-L-P-N-E-T, Home Improvement Show. Okay. Now, uh, I, the HelpNet, of course, because you help people out with uh, all kinds of different building needs. Right, exactly. Now, and uh, Net, because we're networked. We're all over uh, the state of Michigan. Program. Okay, and you're but you're you're based right out of what Grand Rapids, right? Yes, we do the show right out of the uh, studios of Wood Radio in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay, so uh, as far as uh, you got a one eight hundred number, so people can call you up. It uh, doesn't cost them anything, and you and you help them out. Right. The uh, essentially, Oscar, the show is about remodeling and repairing your home or rental property or small office building, whatever it might happen to be. We usually have a guest on with us. And the guest has uh, some expertise in either oh, plumbing or heating or electric, or perhaps he's a, a drywall contractor, a roofer, uh, could even be somebody involved with the septic systems or whatever. And uh, we give folks an opportunity to call in. Any kind of question is okay, uh-huh. uh, as long as it has to do with remodeling or repair of the, the home. And we try to answer the question, or if we can't, to at least steer people into uh somebody or to somebody who might be able to help okay all right now you have your own construction company also besides besides this so that that's where you get your your background and training of course right in addition to uh, to that i am the president and owner of logic construction and home improvement company in grand rapids we are a uh, remodeling concern we mostly work with residential remodeling i've got about 25 years experience 